Are you frustrated with your Acer laptop's slow performance on Windows 11? In the next 10 seconds, I'll share quick and effective fixes to boost your laptop's speed. Stay tuned to discover how to optimize your Acer laptop for a smoother experience. Certain programs continue to operate even after you click the X in the upper right corner to end it. Instead, they only use the resources on your laptop to run in the background while minimizing into the system tray. Simply click the upward arrow in the right corner of your main screen to locate and end these programs. Just right-click and dismiss or terminate any programs that show up in the pop-up that shouldn't be running. An option to allow software to launch automatically when your machine is turned on will be pre-checked in the installation procedure. Every extra program that launches automatically at startup might significantly increase load time. We advise going over these apps and restricting them to those that are absolutely necessary for the system to boot up. Use Control Shift Escape or a right click on the taskbar to choose Task Manager to accomplish this. You may view the impact of each thing that executes at startup by selecting the Startup tab. To disable a process from booting up, just perform a right click and select Disable. Recall that you are only stopping the program from running at startup, not the program itself. Not only may software updates improve security, but they can also improve performance. When an update is available, Windows will notify you automatically. All you have to do is make sure you don't put it off any longer. Go to Start and select Settings or the Settings symbol to see if you are up to date. Next, select Windows Update, or in previous iterations, Updates and Security Windows Update. Updates for drivers and apps should also be made. Once more, performance and security benefit from this. You should be able to determine whether you have the most recent drivers installed for your machine with a fast web search. Similar to our wardrobes, computers may also get disorganized. The quantity of accessible space on your computer decreases as you install more files and software. This is particularly true if you work with a lot of huge files on a daily basis, such audio files, films, or high-resolution photos. Make it a practice to periodically maintain the files on your computer by removing anything you don't need and then emptying the recycle bin. By performing routine maintenance, you may prevent your computer from filling up with pointless data. Handy tip. HDDs usually run at peak speed until they reach roughly 90% capacity. So, if you check how much space is used up and you're over 90%, that may be what's slowing things down. SSDs slow down more gradually as they fill up, so it's good to stay on top of things. It's recommended not to fill an SSD to more than 75% of its capacity. One program might be to fault if you've observed a sudden decrease in your PC's performance. Seeing where your laptop's resources are going in your task manager is one way to tell if this is the case. Right-click the taskbar and choose Task Manager to accomplish this. To learn more about the apps that are presently operating on your computer, select the Processes tab. You can arrange the list by clicking on each header to see which programs are utilizing that specific resource the most. If anything needs to be closed, try closing the application itself first. Return to the Task Manager page, right-click the application, and select End Task if it won't shut. Windows laptops operate on a balanced power strategy by default, dividing resources to balance battery life and performance. Optimizing your power plan for quick performance may be something to think about if you've observed a slowdown in your laptop's performance. For a laptop with poor performance, the high-performance power plan is a better choice. But be cautious, this option consumes more energy, so pay attention to your battery levels. By performing a right-click on the battery icon, located in the lower right corner of your screen, you can modify your power plan by choosing Power Options. Simply choose High Performance from this menu. If you have any programs that you don't use, or only use once in a while, it might be worth considering uninstalling these apps. 
Often, we install software without properly realizing just how much space they're taking up on our devices. To uninstall a program, head over to Control Panel, then go to Programs and select Uninstall a Program, or Programs and Features, Uninstall a Program in Older Versions. We recommend navigating to the window above and scanning the list, deciding which programs you can live without. While you're in the Programs and Features, or select Control Panel then Programs, you might want to check to see if there are any Windows components you don't need. Click Turn Windows Features on or off, and you'll see a list of these components. You can do a disk cleanup on your laptop, as clutter accumulates over time to remove anything superfluous. Running the built-in Windows Utility Disk Cleanup once every few months is a recommended habit to maintain performance. Go to Control Panel, then select System and Security, then go to Windows Tools and choose Disk Cleanup to open the Disk Cleanup Utility. Instead, go to Control Panel, then System and Security, then Administrative Tools if you're using an older version of Windows. Here, you can select the types of files you want to get rid of and click OK. Then, click Clean Up System Files and choose any system files you want to remove. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.